welcome back to the Model Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a delicious Spanish paella, a seafood paella. The best tip for paella is to have everything prepared beforehand, not to be chopping while things are going on. You just have everything ready, which I have done. I can take you through um, and I've been to Spain a couple of times I've been to a Spanish course I've eaten paella so I've just taken bits from all my experiences to make a delicious recipe for you which I hope you find straightforward and that I hope you enjoy um, but please don't write in the comments this is not how we do it in Spain um, this is just how we do it in mi casa. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you pick up some tips. And please write down some comments below if you've got any questions and ring the bell if you want to see some more videos. Hey guys, so you want to grab yourself a heavy base pan or a paella pan if you have one. Pop some olive oil in there and we're going to start with our mixed seafood. We've got some prawns and some um, calamari in there and then have a little sip of wine to get started and I'll introduce you to George this is my little gingerbread man and he's with me on all my recipes keeping me company so once you steam that we want to separate the juice that comes from it which is so much flavor um, and we're going to fry our prawns now in the same oil so we've got some seafood flavor from that but I don't just want to fry off all that lovely flavour, so I'm going to pop the lid on. Um, but I'll add some garlic to that and then pop the lid back on, give it a little shake, just to make sure all the garlic is coated on the prawns and you get that nice seafood and garlic flavour. This is a stock cube and the juice that I took from the seafood. I want to top that up with boiling water to make my fish broth and put it to one side because we're actually going to use that in a little bit. So I'll just check on the prawns, give them a little bit of salt and pepper and they're looking good. So I'll pour myself a glass of wine, little reward. So we can take these out now and set them to the side. We're going to fry in the same oil, onion, garlic, pepper, salt and pepper, paprika and this lovely stuff saffron hopefully you can find this so we'll sprinkle some of that in also tomato puree sip of wine <laughs> tomatoes from the tin stock and the paella rice give that a stir pop in the seafood that we heated earlier the peas and now stop this is very important once this is all in, once you've stirred this all, you do not disrupt it again. So we're going to even this all out, make sure that there's rice and peas and peppers and seafood in all the areas. But then after that, it's very important you don't stir it again. We need that dry rice to suck in all that fish and tomato flavour. So I did pop the lid on there just to keep some of that moisture and make sure that the rice goes nice and soft. You can give it a little check without disturbing it with a spoon just to see what the bottom's like. And now I can add my prawns and my lemons and some parsley. This is gonna look lovely when it's served. So I'm gonna turn the heat down now just to steam those prawns so they're reheated from earlier. And check the bottom has that lovely soccerat, which is a traditional sort of burnt slightly burnt rice on the bottom and I'm very pleased with that I'm pretty sure it's ready to serve so I'm going to take it over to the table There's some bowls there now I've asked Gabby to act natural that's why he's giggling <laughs> and here it is ta-da Wow. <laughs> He's very pleased with that. Unfortunately though, before we get started, like any meal, I need to borrow him a second just to get some pictures for me. So I can pop them up on my Instagram. So there they are, my paella pictures and a delicious meal for two. So I pour out two glasses of wine and we have a lovely paella evening. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a go. 
And if you'd like to follow me on here and on Instagram, and there'll be more recipes to come. Thank you, guys. Mikasa.